Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the molecular geometry of CH2Cl2 molecule. It comprises one carbon atom, two chlorine atoms and two hydrogen atoms. To understand its molecular geometry, we are first going to look at its Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure of the molecule in which carbon atom is in the center and it is forming two bonds with chlorine atoms and two bonds with hydrogen atoms. When you look at this molecule in its 3D uh, shape, you can see that all these four atoms try to be as far away po as possible from each other they are spread out, they are spread out evenly in the plane this is because as per vscpr theory uh, the atoms in the molecule take place such that the repulsive forces between bonding pairs of electrons and non-bonding pairs of electrons are at minimal and hence they try to take such shape apart from that there is no lone pair of electrons on carbon atoms so the so both the non-bonding pairs that is the lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons both play a crucial role when it comes to determining the molecular geometry for ch2cl2 we are going to use the formula of a steric number and find out its molecular geometry the steric number of carbon over here would be 4 because it is forming four bonds with four atoms and there are no lone pairs so you can check out this table in which there is a there is a steric number four and as this there is no lone pair you can see that it corresponds to the molecular geometry of tetrahedral and it makes sense because if you look at this structure it corresponds to um, tetrahedral molecular geometry and hence the molecular geometry for ch2cl2 that is chloromethane is tetrahedral i hope this video helps you to understand that for more such videos on lowest structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching